welcome everyone to mindful healthcare morning yoga and it looks like many of you have been here before maybe a few new folks so just a reminder to take it at your own pace and don't do anything that hurts or is uncomfortable the goal is to take a pause and be present and take a moment to be just enjoy and just be this isn't meant to be hard yoga or exercise yoga but a moment to be mindful and present some of it may be hard and that's fine it's really just to notice what you can do what you can't do i know we have some folks who are new to yoga and just trying it out and my intent with yoga is uh, self-compassion and nourishment and healing and that's the focus of these morning classes so i'm grateful that all of you have chosen to join us and with that i think we'll get started just to let you know i do i am a um, trained yoga teacher and we've been doing these probably three saturdays a month this week it's on sunday because we had that fantastic presentation on shame yesterday and for any of you who missed it the recording will be posted it was amazing so next week we'll be doing yoga again on saturday morning so i will get started if you can find a comfortable seat if you have a block or a bolster or a pillow or something to sit on ideally you would have your hips above your knees. You can find a comfortable cross-legged seat. If that's too much for you, just extend your legs out in front of you. Try to tilt your pelvis forward slightly. Lengthen your spine. Reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Take a moment to notice your hips grounding into the earth. Notice what the connection feels like. And with intention, stretch your spine upward. Take in a deep, nourishing breath through your nose. And a huge cleansing out breath. Allow your shoulders to drop. If it's comfortable for you, flip your palms open towards the sky, just in a more receptive, open, allowing position. <clears throat> Excuse me. And just notice what you feel, what the sensations are. I wanted to talk today about this notion that if the whole is not well, all of the parts are also not well. And if the parts are not well, the whole is not well. And I had shared that quote this week. It really resonates with me. As physicians and as people in healthcare, we often talk about work-life balance. And there seems to be a notion, you know, that when bad things are going on, we can't also feel good. Or if we carry shame or anxiety, things cannot also be beautiful and perfect just as they are. So I wanted to open up the idea that things can be perfect, just as they are, with all the good and all the bad, and that we can heal our whole in order to have the parts be well. And not all parts need to be well to have a healed and complete whole. And so today, I wanted to just create a little bit of space with the breath and the movement to nourish that whole and to realize the whole can be composed of both good and difficult. And we are just composed of all of the cells that are floating through us and all of the thoughts and all of the feelings and all of the experiences. And all of those are part of the whole. So to take this next hour and consider healing your whole. And I wanted to share part of a quote I shared very early on in these yoga classes, which is about the yoga pose not being the goal. 
The goal of yoga is to create space where you were once stuck, to unveil the layers of protection you built around your heart, to appreciate your body and become aware of the mind and the noise it creates, to make peace with who you are. The goal of yoga is to love yourself. Shift your focus and your heart will grow. So we will try to shift our focus to a more nourishing and healing focus. So self-compassion. Bring your hands to heart center, palms together. Notice the finger pads touch, elbows pressed out wide. Ground your hips once again into the earth. Stretch your spine towards the sky. Take in a huge deep breath through your nose and a huge out breath. Another huge in breath. And a huge out breath. Create space for the heart to fill in diastole. With intention, consider what your intention for being here this morning is. What is your wish? What do you hope to experience? Slowly bring your hands back to your thighs. And slowly open your eyes and allow the light to come back in. Just notice how you feel here in this moment. Notice the rise and fall of your chest. We'll inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, palms together. Exhale, allow your shoulders to drop. Inhale, reach your arms tall and long towards the sky. On the exhale, bring your right palm to the earth, ground the left hip into the earth, and stretch your left fingertips towards the right side. Bend the right elbow, breathe into the left ribs, the lower rib cage. Breathe out. Nourish the tiny nooks and crannies in the lower lung space. And let go of anything stuck there. Inhale, reach both fingertips tall towards the sky once again. Exhale, drop your left palm towards the earth. Right hip grounds into the earth. Right fingertips reach towards the left. Inhale, and fill the lungs completely. And exhale, let go of anything stuck. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, both arms up once again towards the sky. On the exhale, twist around your central axis towards the right. Drop your right fingertips behind you, left fingers on the left knee, on the right knee, sorry. Inhale, reach your spine towards the sky. Exhale, twist gently towards the right. Inhale, reach tall once again towards the sky. Exhale, twist gently towards the right. Bring out your insides. Inhale, reach your spine towards the sky. Exhale, cinch a little farther towards the right, squeezing out anything you wish to get rid of. Inhale, bring both arms up towards the sky, twist back towards the center. On the exhale, twist towards the left this time. Spine tall, left fingertips behind you, right fingertips on the left knee. Inhale, reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Exhale, twist gently towards the left. 
Inhale, reach tall with intention. Exhale, bring it out. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, both arms once again up towards the sky. Clasp your fingers together, flip the palms up, reaching skyward, shimmy your elbows behind your ears. Ground the hips once again. Fingers reach up towards the sky. Slight arch. Exhale, round your spine. Come into a seated cat. Inhale, lengthen the spine up towards the sky. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach tall. Slight arch in your spine. Exhale, round your back. Suck in your navel. Let things go. Inhale, reach tall. Last exhale, round forward. Inhale, reach those fingertips up towards the sky. On the exhale, open your palms out towards the side. Press your palms into the side while fingertips reach skyward. Arms extend fully. Chin is even with your shoulders. Deep breath in, big breath out. Wrap your right arm above your left arm. Give yourself a nice big hug. Grab your shoulder blades behind you, squeeze tight. Notice all the sensations. Allow your chin to drop, head to fall into the elbows. Keep squeezing the back of the shoulder blades. Unclasp your arms, extend long towards the side. Once again, fingertips reach towards the sky, palms pressed to the sidewalls. Wrap your arms in the opposite direction this time, left arm under the right. Give yourself another huge hug. Fingers reach around the back of the scapula. Squeeze tight. Exhale, drop your head towards your elbows. Breathe deeply here. Fill the lungs. Notice that space behind your heart. Fill with the inhale. And let it out. Slowly rise your head to reach towards the sky. Unclasp your arms. Extend towards the side wall. Drop your fingertips towards the earth. Inhale, reach them up towards the sky. Exhale, turn your head towards your right hand. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, turn your head towards the left. Inhale, bring it back to center. Slowly lower your arms towards the floor and just shake your arms and shoulders out. Three large circles with your shoulders towards the back of the mat. Notice any kinks, three large circles towards the front of the mat. Keep the breath with intention. You can take out your block or anything that's underneath you if you are sitting on anything. And we will come and meet in hands and hands and knees today. Hands directly under your shoulders, knees directly under your hips, tabletop position. Take a moment. All five fingers of each hand press equally into the floor. Five knuckles press into the floor, palms press into the floor. Top of your shins presses into the floor, top of your feet press into the floor. Head is in line with your spine. Deep breath in here. Big breath out. On the inhale, raise your right fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, thread the needle. Bring your right hand between your left hand and your left knee. Drop the right shoulder towards the floor. Right ear comes down to the floor. Right side of the head comes down to the floor. 
Back of the right forearm is on the floor, palm faces towards the sky. You can tense your left hand or walk your left fingertips forward to reach as far forward as possible. Notice the stretch and the opening in the back of the right shoulder. Breathe into it. And let it out. Breathe into it. And let it out. One more breath here. Walk your left fingertips back near your face. Press into your left palm. On the inhale, reach the right arm skyward once again. Exhale, lower it towards the floor. Tabletop position. Even your spine. Pay attention to your center right at your navel. A strong, even table. Raise your left hand towards the sky. Look upward towards your hand. Exhale, the left hand between the right hand and the right knee. Come into thread the needle on this side. Move with compassion. Breathe into the back of the left shoulder. Right fingers can extend long in front of you if that works for you. Deep breaths here. Just notice how it feels. Walk the right, the right fingertips back towards your face. Press into the right hand. Reach the left hand up towards the sky once again and lower it down to the floor. Come back to tabletop. Walk your hands, a handprint in front of you. Curl your toes, reach your hips skyward. Come into downward dog. Notice how it feels. You can walk the dog out, pedal your feet. Weight in your hands should be equal. Hips are the apex. Lift up onto your tiptoes, reach those hips skyward. Slowly lower your heels towards the earth. Bend the left knee with intention. Press your right heel into the floor. Bend your right knee with intention. Press your left heel into the floor. Lift up high onto your tiptoes. Shift your heels towards the left. Bend the left knee. Notice the stretch in the right side body. Right knee is straight, left knee is bent, heels are twisted towards the left. If you wish, you can look over your right shoulder. One more deep breath here. Let it out. Inhale, come back to center, up on the tiptoes. Hips reach towards the sky once again. High as you can with those hips, press into your hands, reach your hips back towards the back of the mat. Tip your heels towards the right, bend the right knee. Left heel touches the floor, left whole side body stretches. Both hands press equally into the floor. If you wish, look over the left shoulder. One more deep breath here. Inhale, bring your heels back towards center, towards the sky. Lower them both towards the earth. Walk your hands back towards your feet slowly. Widen your stance a little bit. Come into a forward fold. Allow it to, your head to drop completely. Grasp your elbows with your hands. Notice all the sensations. Lift up all 10 toes, lower them down. Shift your weight into your toes gently. Shift your weight into your heels. Shift towards the left. And once again to the right. Unclasp your hands and bring them to your sacrum. Reclasp your hands at your sacrum, extend the elbows, press your fist towards the back of the mat, 
and then allow them to fall over your head towards the front of the mat. Head and neck release completely. Notice the stretch in the front of the shoulders. With compassion, send the breath there. Huge in breath and huge out breath. Bend the left knee, straight the right leg, twist towards the right gently. Huge breath in, huge breath out. Bend the right knee, straight the left, twist towards the left. Huge in breath and huge out breath. Use the breath to heal the whole. Send it to all the places that feel stuck. Twist back to center. Allow the hands to fall a little farther forward. Release the head and neck a little more. Slowly bring your hands back towards your sacrum. Allow your hands to run along the backs of your thighs towards the earth. Engage your belly and slowly roll up to stand, vertebrae by vertebrae. Go very slowly in case you're dizzy. Head is the last to rise. With intention, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears as high as you can get them. With intention, draw them towards the back of the mat and allow them to drop towards the earth. Palms open towards the front of the mat, Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Ground your feet into the earth, all four corners of the feet as we say. Lift up all 10 toes, lower them down. Rise up onto your tiptoes. Slowly lower your heels down. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Take your left thumb and index finger, grab your right wrist, tip towards the left, ground the right hip into the earth, open the right side body. Deep breath in and let it out. Inhale, come back to center. Take your right thumb and index finger, grab the left wrist, tip towards the right side. Ground the left hip into the earth. Breathe into the left side body. One more deep breath here. Inhale, reach up tall towards the sky. Unclasp your hands. On the exhale, twist towards the right. Extend your left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, twist back to center, both arms reach towards the sky. Exhale, twist to the left, left arm reaches towards the back, right arm towards the front, fingers flex towards the sky. Inhale, reach up to center once again. Exhale, twist towards the right. Inhale, reach up towards the sky, twist back to center. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale, reach your fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, lower your arms towards the floor. Come back to Tadasana. Close your eyes for a moment. Lift up all 10 toes once again. Lower them down. Bring your hands to heart center. Press your thumbs into your sternum, elbows out wide. Notice once again your palms touch. Fingers pads touch. Press all five finger pads into the other five finger pads. Notice the sensations. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Feel your heart underneath. Take a deep breath into that space behind the heart. Make room for the heart to fill. On the exhale, slowly open your eyes. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, slight arch in your back, palms together, fold forward towards the earth, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift. 
Exhale, fold forward. Engage your belly, slowly rise up to stand. Once again, head will be the last to rise. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Walk towards the front of your mat. And we're gonna do a couple of sun salutations. Stands tall, hands to heart center. Inhale, lower your arms, reach them up towards the sky, slight arch towards the back, palms come together, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, crown of your head reaches forward, exhale, hands to the floor, step back to plank. Tip forward onto your toes, bend your elbows, you can bend your knees if need be, slowly lower towards the earth, forehead touches the floor. Weight comes out of your hands. Inhale for a low cobra. Exhale, lower down. Curl those toes, press into your hands. Press back to downward dog. Press there. Find stillness, find a spot on the floor about a foot in front of your hands. Focus your attention there. Inhale, lift up onto your tiptoes and step, hop or jump towards the front of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, crown of your head reaches towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Engage your belly and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Head is the last to rise with intention, slow and steady. Shoulders up towards your ears and allow them to drop towards the floor. Inhale, arms reach up once again, slight arch in the spine, palms come together, hands to heart center. Deep breath in, huge exhale. Inhale, lower your arms, allow them to reach towards the sky, slight arch, palms come together, fold forward towards the earth. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, Exhale, lower towards the earth, palms come to the floor, step back for plank. Pause here a moment. Tip forward with intention to your tiptoes. Bend your elbows, hug them in towards you. You can bend your knees if you need. Uncurl your toes, slowly lower towards the earth. Chaturanga. Inhale for Low cobra or upward dog, if you wish. Uncurl your toes, press back to down dog. Come to stillness. Inhale, raise your right leg up towards the sky, foot flexed. Stack the hips, bend the right knee, open the front of the right hip, roll the right ankle out towards the right and roll towards the left. Reach your heel towards the back wall, straight your leg. And on the exhale, gently bring your foot between your hands. Come into Anjaneyasana, which is a low lunge. So back knee is on the floor, uncurl your toes, back shin is on the floor. Walk your front toes forward a little bit. Make sure that your knee does not extend beyond your ankle. On the inhale, engage your belly, raise both arms up towards the sky, palms face one another. Take a moment to find your balance. Tap the right hip back, left hip forward. Inhale, reach your fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, sink a little lower into those hips. Notice the sensations. Inhale, send breath to the front of the left hip, arms reach towards the sky. Exhale, sink a little lower and let the stuckness go. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, sink a little lower. One more deep breath in. Lengthen your spine, reach your fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. Bring your right hand to your right hip crease. 
Tip the left fingertips towards the right. Breathe into the front of that left hip once again. Three deep breaths. Last one. Inhale your right fingertips up to meet the left. On the exhale, bring your hands down to frame your right foot. Curl your back, toes under, straight your back knee, come into a high lunge. Bring your left palm towards the floor, back leg is straight, you're gonna twist towards the right into an easy twist. Right fingertips reach towards the sky. Breathe into your chest. If you can, bring your right hand into your left hip crease. Roll your chest open a little farther. Breathe into that space behind the heart. Make room for the heart to fill in diastole. So when it beats, it has more to send to the rest of you. Feel the hole. Reach your right fingertips back up towards the sky. Lower your right hand. Bring it to the inner edge of your right foot. Walk that right foot out towards the outer edge of the mat. Lower your back knee. Come into lizard pose here. Untuck the back toes. Both hands are on the inside of the right foot and just allow the weight to roll to the outer edge of your right foot. Notice a stretch in the inner groin. You can just stay up on your palms or your fists. Just pause here for a moment. Send the breath to the groin area and let it go. Roll your weight back into the ball of the right foot. Uncurl your toes of the back foot. Rise back up into a high lunge. Move your hand towards the outer edge. Walk that right foot back to center. Step the back foot forward, come into pyramid pose. Tack your right hip back, left hip forward. Your back foot will come forward about two footprints. Both knees are straight. Head is folded over the front leg. Allow your head to drop completely. Use the breath, send it into the back of the right hamstring. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, crown of your head reaches towards the front of the mat. Exhale, fold forward over that front leg. Allow your head to drop completely. Five deep breaths into the back of the right hamstring. Two more. Slowly step your back foot forward to meet the front. A little bit of a wide stance. Sink your hips back as far as you can. Rise your torso up into chair pose. Knees are bent gently. Feet under your shoulders, hips sink back towards the back of the mat. You can have your hands together at heart center or reach them up by your ears, whatever works for your shoulders. Neither is better. Three deep breaths, sink the hips back. Notice the work in the legs. Huge breaths here. Three more breaths. Lift your toes up, lower them down. Sink your hips back with intention once again. 
Slowly allow your head to fall towards the earth. Straight your knees, shoot your hips up, hands reach the floor. Engage your belly. Slowly roll up to stand, vertebrae by vertebrae, head is the last to rise. Shoulders reach up towards the ears, drop them back towards the back of the mat. Drop the shoulders with intention, palms open towards the front. Pause for a moment. Three deep breaths. Notice all the sensations. How does the whole feel? All the parts working together. All the cells working together. The blood flow moving from one part to the other. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky once again. Arch back slightly, palms together, fold forward, forward, fold. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, forward fold, palms to the floor. Step back to plank. Top of the push up. Engage your center, your belly. Hips should be even. Weight into both hands. Dip your heels towards the left. Weight comes into the left hand. Reach your right fingertips skyward, coming into side plank. If this is too difficult, bend your left knee towards the floor to give you a kickstand. Three breaths here. Last one. Twist back to center, right hand comes back to the floor. Plank pose once again. Notice any shaking. Tip your hips towards the right, heels towards the right, weight into the right hand. Read your left hand skyward, come into side plank on this side. Again, if you need to, bend your right knee. Kickstand your right foot behind you. You can check the screen if you're not sure what I mean. Use the breath. Two more deep breaths here. Creating stability, strength. Putting everything together into a whole. Come back to center, both palms towards the earth. Plank pose once again. Tip your weight forward, lower down chaturanga towards the earth. Forehead to the floor, untuck your toes. Press into up dog or low cobra. Untuck your toes, shoot your hips skyward into down dog. Bend your knees, come into child's pose here. Knees apart, toes together. Sink your hips back as far as you can. Walk your fingertips forward in front of you. Forehead or third eye is going to touch the floor, ground into the earth. Let the hips sink towards the floor. Send the breath into the back body, into that space behind the heart. Take a moment to think about something about you that you would not want to change. Just one thing that you're proud to carry forth into the world. We so often focus on the things that we want to change, but take a moment to focus on the thing that you would not want to change. When you're ready, press back up 
to downward dog. Hips reach skyward. Reach your left foot skyward, toes flexed. Open your hips, stack the left hip on top of the right, roll the ankle out in one direction, and then the other. Send the breath to the front of the left groin. Deep breaths. Straight the right, left leg, heel presses towards the back wall. On the exhale, gently bring your foot between your hands. Come into Anjaneyasana or low lunge on this side. Walk those left toes forward so your knee does not extend beyond your ankle. Engage your core, rise up. Anjaneyasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Read your fingertips tall towards the sky. Exhale, sink into the hips a little bit lower. With intention, connect the back of the, the, connect the right shin into the floor and the top of the right foot into the earth. Pack the left hip back, right hip forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine tall. Exhale, sink a little lower. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Left hand to left hip. Tilt your right fingertips towards the left. Send compassion and breath to the right psoas. Another right groin area, hip area. Breathe into it. Notice all the sensations. One more breath. Inhale, both fingertips tall towards the sky. Exhale, lower them down on either side to frame your left foot. Curl the back toes, rise to a high lunge. Right palm to the floor, twist towards the left, easy twist. Left fingertips reach skyward, back knee is up and straight. If you wish, bring your left hand to the right hip crease. Roll your heart open, look up towards the sky. Send the breath to the space behind the heart. Allowing it room to fill. One more breath. Inhale, reach those left fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, lower them down to the floor on the inside of the left foot. Walk your left foot to the outer edge of the mat, the left edge. Roll your left foot open so toes rise up. Right knee comes down to the floor, lizard pose. Your chest can stay up. Palms or fists on the floor. Breathe into the front of the groin. Lots of sensations here. We carry lots of tension in the hip area. So just notice it. Send the breath with compassion. Two more deep breaths here. Be curious and notice if you want to get out of it sooner. Perhaps it's bringing something up that you're not interested in noticing. And that's okay, just use the breath. Bring your left hand to the outside of the left foot. Walk the left toes towards the middle. Uncurl your back foot. Step that back foot forward. Come into pyramid pose on this side. So a wide runway between your feet. Both legs are straight. Tap the left hip back, right hip forward. Both feet are jetlining towards the front of the mat. Allow your head to fall forward over the left leg. Use your breath, send it into the back of the left hamstring. 
Huge in breaths. Huge out breaths. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, crown of the head reaches towards the front. Exhale, fold forward over that front leg. Allow your head to drop completely. Two more huge breaths here. Step that back foot forward to meet the front foot. Widen your stance, turn your toes out towards the side. We're gonna come into yogi squat. So bend your knees wide, your knees are extend over your toes. Sink your hips back. Palms together, yogi squat. If your heels touch the floor, that's ideal. And if they don't, put a blanket under them or just stay up on your tiptoes. A few deep breaths here. Press your elbows into the knees. Hips sink down and low. Bring your hands to the floor. Turn your heels back straight. Straight your hips. Reach your hips up towards the sky. Allow your head to drop. Forward fold. Walk your feet a little bit closer together so they're hips width. Engage your belly. Slowly roll yourself up to stand. Head will be the last to rise. Inhale, shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, bring your shoulders towards the back of the mat with intention. Drop them towards the floor, palms open. Deep breath. Let's come to meet sitting on the mat. Extend your feet long in front of you. Rock side to side on your hips. Move the flesh of your seat out of the way. Tilt your pelvis forward gently. Spine is tall, toes flex up towards your nose. Bring your fingers behind you. Puff your chest out towards the front of the mat. Press your knees towards the floor, Dandasana, staff pose. Deep breaths here. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward over your toes. Allow your head to drop. If your hands are on your knees, that's fine. Come into a loose forward fold. Breathe into the back body. Slowly walk your hands up your shins, lengthen your spine, reach your head towards the sky. Reach your arms forward in front of you. Palms together, engage your belly, slowly roll back, vertebrae by vertebrae with intention. Use every muscle in your core to slowly lower down towards the mat. No hurry. Move with intention until you come to rest on the floor. Adjust yourself once you get there. Notice what's connecting with the earth. Backs of your calves, backs of your fingers, backs of your hand. Bend your knees, soles of the feet on the floor. Walk your heels as close to your fingertips as you can. We'll come into bridge pose here. Press into your feet, reach your hips up towards the sky as high as you can. Shimmy your shoulders underneath you as much as you can. 
Clasp your fingers together or grab the outer edges of your mat. Shoot your hips up skyward. Knees connect energetically. With intention, press your feet into the floor. Knees together, hips reach skyward. Chest open, shimmy the shoulders underneath you a little bit more. And still breathe. Send the breath to the back of the heart space. The whole back of the chest, reach the hips skyward. Notice all the sensations. Continue to use your breath. Slowly untuck your shoulders. Slowly lower your hips towards the floor. Inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae. Untuck the shoulders completely. Bring your knees to your chest. Arms wrap around them. Give yourself a hug. Rock side to side. Notice all the sensations. Grab the outer edges of your feet. Come into happy baby. Soles of the feet reach towards the sky. Like a former gold discovering their feet. Rock side to side. Flex those feet and those toes so the soles of your feet reach towards the sky. Allow the hips to open a little bit more. Breathe into it. Bring your feet together. Press the heels into the groin with intention. Hands are on the outer edges of your feet still. Notice the sensations. Slowly lower your feet back towards the earth. Knees will stay bent. Hands can come back to your sides. Bring your right ankle to your left knee. Grab behind your left thigh. Tug it towards you. Come into figure four. Both toes are flexed towards the sky. Pull the left hamstring towards you. Elbow presses into the right knee. You should notice a stretch in the outer right thigh. Breathe into it. If you wish, you can move your hands towards your shin. Whatever feels good for you. Breathe deeply. Three breaths here, let it go. Release the clasp behind the left hamstring. Bring your hands over your head into a loose cactus shape. And we're going to twist towards the left. Right foot falls to the floor. Outer edge of the left thigh falls to the floor. Left knee falls to the floor. Figure four twist. You should notice a nice stretch in the whole right side body. If you need to, you can stack your knees if this is too much. If you wish, you can turn your head towards the right. Notice everything letting go. Slowing down. Bring your head back to center. Bring your knees back to center. Even out your hips. Lower that right foot back to meet the left. Knees still bent. Bring your left ankle over your right knee. Bring your hands to the right thigh. Hamstring 
Bring your right leg in to meet your chest. Left elbow presses into the left knee. Figure four on this side. Both feet are flexed to protect your knee. Breathe into the outer left thigh. Hip area. If you wish, you can move your hands towards your shins to intensify the stretch. Press with intention into that left elbow. Left elbow to the left knee. Both toes flex towards the sky. Pull the hamstring in towards you. Send the breath to all the tiny nooks and crannies calling out. Slowly unclasp your thigh, hands behind the thigh, reach them up over your head, coming into an easy cactus above you. Twist towards the right, left sole of the foot touches the floor, outer edge of the right thigh touches the floor, right knee touches the floor. Noticeable stretch in the whole left side body, running down your torso into the outer edge of the left hip. If you wish, turn your head towards the left. If you need to, you can uncross your knees and just stack them, whatever feels best for you. Use the breath. Notice it slow down. Bring your head back to center. Bring your knees back to center. Uncross the legs, both knees side by side. Even out your hips. Extend your legs long towards the front of the mat. Allow your toes to fall towards the outer front corners of the mat. Take an inhale, stretch your arms long above you if they're still above you. Inhale and let everything go. Bring your arms back towards your sides. About six inches from your waist, palms open towards the sky. Come into Shavasana or final resting pose. Notice what's connected to the earth. Allow the earth to hold you. Allow yourself to just be. Complete rest for a few moments. Rest and restore. With intention. Allow the whole to come together in this moment, here and now. Complete stillness. Gently begin to deepen your breath. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes.
Reach your fingers tall above you. Extend your toes long in front of you. Take another deep nourishing breath. Huge out breath. Bring your knees into your chest and roll over to one side. Take a moment to thank yourself for practicing this morning. Notice what feels different. Were you able to find space where you were once stuck? Press your hands into the earth. Slowly come up to a seat. Cross your legs if you can. Ground your hips into the earth. Hands to your knees. Grow your spine out of the floor. Head shines towards the sky. Bring your hands to heart center, palms together. May you go out into the world today and for the week with some space where you were once stuck, with loosened layers of protection around your heart, with some appreciation of your body and some awareness of the mind and the noise it creates. Can you go with a little more peace with who you are and attempt to shift your focus and make room for your heart to grow? Thank you all so much for joining me this morning. The light in me shines and reflects the light in each and every one of you. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.